even if you are going to buy that kind of arms, who's supposed to, I mean, sign, who's supposed to, I mean, do that kind of operation? All departments in, uh, in our security agencies, military, Air Force, Land Army, uh, Navy, they have ways of you know, procuring their equipment, which of course will not be done by the NSA. And at the same time, I would want to look at it, maybe because we are in a desperate situation and uh, they want to do something quick. And probably that was the reason the NSA, because the first one, don't forget that the first 9.3 million naira that was six, there wasn't any document backing it up that it was going for arms. And that one created another suspicion for me that two weeks after, they sent another 5.7 billion, probably in order to confuse Nigerians, that okay, well, the first one we sent to, it was really meant for harm. And you can see the second one, 5.7 billion, that was when you have document supporting that, okay, they are going to buy one and one and one this thing. But like, like Captain said, if you want to buy a gunship helicopter, it's going to cost you about 5.7 billion dollars. 5.7 million dollars alone, just one gunship helicopter, and depending on the kind of, uh, I'm sorry, let, let me be very clear. Because recently they purchased about 40, that's about four squadron of uh, both gunship helicopters and uh, transport helicopters, and that's going to run into billions of naira. So, and if it costs one, it's going to be about 5.7 or $5 billion. So, but if you are buying that, probably you are buying it from black market. Uh, last two years, the uh, Israeli Defense Ministry said, okay, two F-15 and F-16 fighter jet engine you know, disappear, I mean, from their airfield. So, something like that happens occasionally, where some element may steal government property and may want to resell it, which is black market. Okay. So, 